Good day, my name is Nico Lau, Technical Advisor for AgriNet Power Products Division and congratulations on buying your firefighter. Today we want to run through a few tips on the operation of your firefighter so that you are confident in using the firefighter in a case of emergency. Without further ado, Mr. Carl Kroukom is an expert with many years of experience to run through the procedure. Good day. Let me go through a few basic procedures on this uh, firefighting unit. First of all, you obviously need to put water in the tank. By doing that, you can use your Venturi system that comes with the unit. To do that, you need to start your engine first and then make sure that your pressure is off on this side. I'll close that valve, then you can come to the engine, switch it on, then you can open the fuel, close the choke and then pull it with a recoil starter. Once that starts, the water will start flowing out this drain valve. Close that and then by clipping this quick coupler onto the Venturi, that goes into your water source and the open end goes into your tank. Once the tank is full, you can just close this valve and you can again put the high pressure pipe back onto your gun. Then the gun is ready for spraying fire. While spraying, you can adjust the, the, the spray but from solid stream to fog spray by turning this front adjusting knob. While you're spraying your, your firefighting unit, you must make sure that the pressure does not exceed the prescribed pressure. There's a pressure gauge that's marked in green and red. This knob here, you turn it clockwise to increase pressure. Turn it anti-clockwise to release pressure. Never exceed the recommended pressure. That is marked on that red line. If you over pressure that, there's no way for this water to bypass. So when you release your trigger, it can pop the, the seals or it can damage the air chamber or your gun. So never exceed the pressure on this unit. Once this, the fire is out, you store this unit in a proper way, especially in, in cold areas where it's sub-zero temperatures. You need to take this off, drain the, the water out of the gun, and then you can open this drain valve again and run the, 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 the pump and the engine with, with the suction hose out of the water. Once the water starts spitting out here, you know it's, it's drained, then you can switch the machine off and you can put your suction hose back and the unit will be ready for future use. Before you use it again, every time you use it, check your, if there's enough fuel, check that the, the air filter is clean, check that your oil level is on the right uh, level. Also with the pump, there is an indicator for that. And then by turning these grease spots every time 360 degrees before you spray, it will save a lot of wear on your valve. Then remember always, before you take this gun off, press the trigger to make sure that there's no pressure in the pipe because if you just pull it off this valve inside the quick cupper will get stuck and you won't be able to put this gun back on so what you must do is make sure before you take it off press the trigger any any pressure that's in this hose will be released and once that's done you can take it off safely 